Oregon has reached out to UCLA's Chip Kelly. Did you think that that was possibly going to happen? Yes. Now, I had heard all the rumors, but I just I didn't believe. I thought that they were too far past each other, right? Well, but why? He didn't leave for bad reasons. He didn't leave the, the, the program in any negative light. As soon as he left, they went to a national title. He had had that thing built up. He wanted to try his hand at the NFL. He has an unbelievable relationship with Phil Knight. That's incredibly important. I, I absolutely saw this happening because we have seen that college football is all about relationships. I mean, getting a job and keeping a job is who do you have relationships with? That's true. The idea of nepotism and favoritism is just is just a normal thing for those people. Okay. Yeah, we've and, seen this all over the place. I just I, I thought yeah. that Oregon would be looking for something different because it. I mean, obviously, you see, and what he did at UCLA this year was certainly impressive. Um, I just I, I wonder, and I, I mean, I'll tell you this: I think Oregon's looking for something stable, Gary. I, that's that's true. That is true because they've had how many different coaches leave them? Chip Chip will be their last. That will be Chip's last job. He ain't leaving again for the NFL. He's not going anywhere else or doing anything else. This is this is it. This so they be, know they have him until they're ready to fire him or he's ready to retire. They uh, this will be Chip Kelly's most talented team if he ends up getting the job. Right, this could just be a. A pleasantry, it could be whatever. They could be feeling it out because they've also talked to Kalani Sataki over at BYU. Um, this is one of those situations where uh, he'll be walking into the most talented roster that he has ever had on a college campus. Yeah. Like it, that, it, Mario Cristobal left that place absolutely loaded. Um, you know, he wasn't able to get him over the hump this season, but he did win two straight Pac 12 titles, and he was one Arizona State loss away from making the playoff two years ago. So, you know, I, I, I think this could be interesting. Like, you give Chip Kelly really good football players, and I think he could he could still be successful, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there's no doubt. Chip, if Chip gets – I'm going to tell you this. Their two top two guys are two great guys that I think whoever takes that job is going to make that job, I think, better than Mario had it. Because I think they're better football coaches than Mario is. I think Mario is a, a recruiter who who surrounds himself with good coordinators. That's fine, but as soon as those coordinators leave, you know, a lot of things get exposed. And you got to find a way to coach. And I think as soon as he realized that uh, he was losing his OC that made his offense look so good, I, I, I think he knew I need to take that Miami gig. I need to go. Hey, how surprising so, is it to you, by the way? Uh, that Joe Moorhead is staying on with Oregon to coach in the bowl game. No, I mean he. he I, I'm okay with that. And I think that's a. I think it's a good thing. I think he gets to be the interim head coach, right? Uh, I don't know if they've announced that or not, but uh, he's, you know, he's calling the plays. He's going to be running the offense yeah. for the the bowl game against Oklahoma. He gets to do that because he's going to Akron, and and people at Akron understand. This early signing day is just bullshit for the big schools. Yeah. That's all it is. It's yeah. the big school coaches that don't want to work. And so they want you to make your commitment early so they can quit work. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.